Good morning, folks. Starting off with a 3.9 earthquake in Arkansas. It's a little strange. Cyclone Haruna, damage is done, now leaving Madagascar in the top left corner. Yesterday we said it looked like a cyclone was brewing off the northwest coast of Australia, and today it's official. Going to be a pain this week. Meanwhile, the eastern part of the country dealt with flooding the last two days, and yesterday a severe outburst that dropped a tornado and damaged dozens of homes. Weather Channel was correct. This strong low has shifted to the south central U.S. and is going to cause major weather. More snow in the north, severe in the south. Save this link, guys. You can check your local watches in effect. Zoom in quite a bit. We'll have more weather images coming at the end. Muon Network shows cosmic ray density hit 101 and is still near that line. The southeastern filaments, plural, did destabilize yesterday. The second one took a while to uncork, but neither is headed for Earth. The coronal hole I pointed out yesterday now a significant focus for NASA. It is spreading and on the solar equator. Let's look at the umbral field and coronal structures. The central field disappears as these coronal holes are revealing themselves in red on the left. Camel beginning to buckle as we may have converging coronal holes here. The southern one is at least growing. You will notice behind the limb they have labeled an incoming active region. Definitely must have some developed umbra to maintain these loops. In 304 angstroms, we see that they are weak themselves, however. Did anyone catch this going across the bottom? This accidental catch is a plasma filament that was hiding on the far longitudinal boundary of the coronal opening, and it did release. But coming back to the coronal holes, looking big on the equator and set to face Earth during planetary conjunctions. This is the recipe for a major watch period. Forgive my misspeak yesterday, I said new moon starts the watch, but I meant full moon, which is on our doorstep. For a quick reference, this is the USGS 2013 major quake list. They are now leaving off lots of smaller sixes. But the highlighted quakes here occurred during the only other major watch we've had this year. You will remember on January 30th that watch was called based on the coronal holes. Minor watches were in effect for the Alaska quake and the recent Russian 6.6. .6. For more on the specifics of the last watch period, please see the February 10th news, which is linked below. I'll leave you with shots of the sun and a bunch more weather. Quake watch is pretty much here. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.